Number 10. Tess Swift When traveling to a foreign country, you should always be cautious about drinking their tap water or trying new foods. While you should be okay for the most part, sometimes our bodies react negatively to new environments and food we aren't used to. For example, after an incredible vacation to Thailand with her family back in 2015, a 20-year-old woman named Tess Swift unknowingly contracted a rare disease known as nathostomiasis, thanks to a parasite in her digestive tract. For years, Tess felt ill, but doctors weren't sure what was wrong with her. She was diagnosed with an eating disorder, irritable bowel syndrome, and still the treatments weren't relieving her stomach pain. Within months after coming back from Thailand, she was forced to drop out of the nursing program she was pursuing because she had to spend so much time in the hospital. Unfortunately, it took seven years for medical professionals to give Tess the correct diagnosis. In November 2022, the Australian woman found out what was wrong with her. As soon as she found out about the nathostomiasis and parasite, Tess started treatment to kill her unwanted guest. Recently, she had surgery to fix some issues with her feeding tube that she's had to wear for years. While it's amazing that she knows the root of her symptoms, the parasites did some serious damage to Tess's body after living there for years. Doctors believe it's likely that some of her nerves are irreparable at this point. While she wasn't able to become a nurse like she initially wanted to, Tess now works as a disability carer. Her and her mother also spend their free time spreading awareness about nathostomiasis because they want all travelers to be aware of the risks when visiting new places. Number 9. Ryan Perry It's not just food and drinking water you have to worry about when it comes to parasites. They can invade your insides from natural waterways, too. In May 2019, 30-year-old Ryan Perry was out enjoying the sun on the back of his jet ski along Maryland's Susquehanna River. But then, out of nowhere, he was knocked off, causing him to go flying into the water, with a lot of the liquid going straight up his nose. Many of us know that this isn't a pleasant experience, but after the initial shock of the fall wore off, Ryan began to notice that he was displaying some strange symptoms. He frequently started vomiting, getting headaches, and he was even sensitive to strong light. Then, three days after getting knocked off his jet ski, Ryan wound up in the hospital. Doctors ran some tests and found out that some kind of amoeba had gotten stuck in his nasal cavity thanks to the river water. The parasite was literally eating his brain, causing these intense symptoms. It took a few months, but Ryan started to get better. He'll have to completely relearn how to walk though, and he'll need a lot of physical therapy but it's expected that he'll be his old self again one day. While speaking to his local news network, WMAR, he said, I ended up going to the ER because it was excruciating pain. Ryan went on to say that he barely remembered his first few days in the hospital, which makes sense because doctors had to put him in a coma while looking for the cause of his symptoms. Just in case you're freaked out about swimming in rivers now, the parasite that infected Ryan was called Nacleria. It's been determined that people won't get it by simply drinking river water. It must be transferred through the nose and have access to the brain. So feel free to hop in the river. Just remember to plug your nose while going under. Number 8. Marie Mason For many people, showers are a safe place where you can relax and forget about the struggles of life. Well, unfortunately for one English woman who left her contact lenses in while washing up, a parasite infected her eye. The infection in question is called acanthamoeba keratitis, and it's extremely rare. Most of the individuals who are diagnosed with it wear contacts, but the CDC says technically anyone can contract the infection. 54-year-old Marie Mason took a shower with her lenses still in, and doctors believe the parasite got stuck between it and her eye. While there, the parasite multiplied exponentially, completely taking poor Marie's sight. In 2015, she started noticing that something wasn't right. At first, she says it just felt like a tiny piece of dust or sand was stuck in her eye. She figured it'd go away in a few days, but instead, it just kept getting worse. Marie's optician immediately told her to see a doctor at the hospital, and while there, she was diagnosed with acanthamoeba keratitis. They gave her medicine, eye drops, and she even underwent three separate cornea transplants, but none of them worked. After dealing with the infection's aftermath for five long years, Marie was done. She decided to just have her entire left eye removed, and since then, she's worn a fake eyeball. This story should serve as a reminder to those of you who wear contacts, be sure to take them out in the shower. Number 7. Scrotum Worms Love it or hate it, men tend to have a strange attachment to their genitals. 
So when a 26-year-old in India noticed some strange swelling and unexplainable pain coming from his nether regions for over a month, he quickly went to the doctor. While taking photos and conducting several tests, medical professionals realized that the young man had something wrong with his scrotum. In case you didn't know what it was, the scrotum describes the small pouch of skins where the testicles are safely stored. The doctors noticed that the patient was very tender on one side of the scrotum, so they did an ultrasound. What they found was enough to make anyone's stomach churn. Countless microscopic worms were wriggling around in the man's scrotal sac. Further tests revealed that they were a parasite known as Wachereria bancrofti, which have been known to cause a parasitic infection called lymphatic filariasis. This can severely damage a person's lymphatic system, which is our body's main defense against disease and infection. It's commonly spread through mosquitoes and affects large populations of people in Africa, Asia, and other tropical climates. Luckily, the doctors in this case discovered the worms early on. The man was quickly put on a three-week-long treatment course, and his symptoms cleared over time. If he'd let this pain go on any longer, the consequences may have been much worse. Number 6. Ascris Another Indian man from Delhi was written about in the New England Journal of Medicine after walking into the ER complaining about serious abdominal pain, vomiting, and severe diarrhea. When professionals took a look at him, they realized he was suffering from a parasite in his intestines. The tests medical professionals ran indicated that the 20-year-old had very high counts of white blood cells, which typically help fight infections. When there's an abundance of these cells, it can be an indicator that something is very wrong and the patient could be sick. When the medics noticed this, they ran an ultrasound. During the procedure, they saw multiple large tube-like creatures curling around. With this and a stool sample, it was determined that the man had a parasite known as Ascaris lumbrosoides. These parasites invade the body through vegetables or fruits that haven't been thoroughly washed. To kill them, doctors gave the patient an anti-parasite drug and some IV fluids. He was luckily discharged within a day and was expected to make a full recovery. If left untreated, the worms could have grown to over a foot long and caused even more severe pain. What would you do if you realized a giant worm was in your stomach? Let us know in the comments down below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to join the Bad Badger Nation. Number 5. Tapeworm Tumor In 2015, a Colombian man's experience with a tapeworm was discussed in several journals of medicine. His case intrigued doctors and professionals around the world because the parasite left something behind. Cancer. The 41-year-old man had already been diagnosed with HIV. So when other symptoms started showing, he simply thought they were part of the illness. But in January 2013, after being sick for months on end, he decided to get checked out by a doctor just in case. And it's a good thing he did, because they noticed the man had been infected by a tapeworm. Not only that, the worm somehow left behind cancerous tumors in the patient's lymph nodes and lungs. When professionals looked at his tissue samples under a microscope, they saw that the man's healthy cells were quickly being invaded by the tapeworm's cancer. Sadly, a few months after his diagnosis, the patient passed away due to kidney failure. Doctors say the tumors the man had are extremely rare and are most often reported in people whose immune systems are already in poor condition. The tumors are likely worm larvae that's moved into the lymph nodes from the stomach lining. In their early stages, the larvae are full of stem cells, causing them to reproduce at a rapid rate. But again, as long as you're healthy, your body should be able to fight them off, so don't worry about catching cancer from a tapeworm. Number 4. Xiao Yi We should put a warning before this next story. If you have a weak stomach, beware. In 2020, a woman from China, identified only as Xiao Yi, started experiencing intense headaches, so she went to the doctor in Jiangsu for a checkup. From there, the medical staff transferred her to a larger hospital because she had what seemed like an epilepsy attack. Once in the upgraded facility, they performed a surgery on the 23-year-old's brain and found something straight out of a nightmare. There, inside her skull cavity, still wiggling around, was a six-inch long white worm. This kind of parasite is usually seen in patients that have eaten raw meat, more often than not, raw fish. They say that the worms can travel through a person's bloodstream and move through the body. In Xiao Yi's case, the invader settled in her brain. 
When asked about her meals and eating habits, the young woman said that two years ago she did eat some frogs. The slimy critters were likely not prepared properly or cooked in substandard conditions. It isn't exactly clear if Xiao recovered fully from the parasitic infection. The last update said she was getting treated in the hospital and was slowly getting better, so we can only hope she pulled through in the end. Number 3. Dave Bennett During what was supposed to be a fun family vacation, a Memphis father named Dave Bennett lost his life, sending ripples of shock and grief to his loving family. The Bennett family was in Destin, Florida to see their daughter. While there, they went to the beach to relax and enjoy the day. Everything went fine, but about 12 or so hours after taking a dip in the ocean, Dave became seriously sick. He woke up the next morning in a cold sweat with cramps, a high fever, and chills all throughout his body. When they went to the hospital, doctors noticed a black and purple spot on the left side of his back. After running a few tests, they determined it was caused by flesh-eating bacteria or necrotizing fasciitis. The family already knew that Dave had cancer. This meant his immune system was already working overtime, so it didn't have the strength to fight any foreign invaders off. Doctors later put a name to the parasite causing Dave so much pain, Vibrio vulnificus. It likely got into his system through a small scrape or cut when he went into the water. Soon after getting to the hospital, the spot on his back had practically doubled in size, and his arms and legs were slowly becoming discolored as well. Within just two days after his fun day at the beach, Dave was dead. At least one of his last memories was spent enjoying time with his family. Number 2. Neti Pot In December 2018, a 69-year-old woman from Seattle passed away after using tap water from her sink in a neti pot. Not long after, she had to be taken to the emergency room since she was suddenly suffering from intense seizures. Doctors ran a few tests and figured out she had an amoeba eating away at her brain. At first, they thought it might have been a simple tumor since the woman previously had breast cancer. Then, she informed the medical staff that she also had a stubborn sore on her nose. That's when she told them about the neti pot. If you aren't familiar, neti pots are commonly used to help clear up congestion. They shoot a stream of water through your nasal passage to try and flush out any mucus blockage. The instructions on these devices clearly state to only use distilled or boiled water. In this case, though, the woman must have thought using tap water was okay since she filtered it, but she was sorely mistaken. When doctors opened her head up for surgery, they discovered a large mass, about three inches in diameter. They removed the infected tissue, which was formed thanks to an amoeba living in the water, but they weren't able to save her life. Remember, folks, always follow the instructions on the box, especially if it's a medical device. Number 1. Brain Eater in the summer of 2022, a young child from Nebraska passed away thanks to an amoeba known as Nagleria fallery, which is often called the brain-eating amoeba. After taking a swim during a weekend at the Elkhorn River, the kids started to experience intense headaches. They also started vomiting and had severe nausea. In similar cases, death often happens within only five days after symptoms begin. And apparently, this kind of illness isn't uncommon in the United States. That same summer, a person in Missouri died due to a similar amoeba they caught after swimming in a lake. Whenever you go to a fresh body of water, you should take extra care not to get any of it up your nose. They may look dorky, but wearing items like nose plugs or clips can help tremendously in these areas. After all, would you rather have your brain eaten by parasites or look a little goofy while swimming? Did these stories unlock any newfound fears? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Bad Badger. Bye, guys!